Hey YouTube, what is going on everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. Uh, so today we're going to be knocking out some head studs. Uh, I know a little while ago I've knocked out head studs on the channel with my truck, the ARP 625s. But today we're going to be doing Bodie's truck. The guy that came over we did the second gen swap with, we did the CTT tunes with, and now we're knocking out head studs. So he's going to be over here shortly. We're going to knock out the exotic head studs and uh, I'll, I'm going to film him doing it so you guys can actually see get a better camera angle and then we'll probably adjust the valve lash and then put it all back together and go from there. So stay tuned. All right guys, Bodie just showed up. These are the exotic uh, head studs that he has gotten. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a difference in these than there are with uh, like ARP, say the S2000s or the uh, 625s, but Here's, here's everything that comes in the kit. We already opened up some nuts. Here's some more nuts. There's the washers. And then you have 26 head studs. These are the longer ones. I'll show you guys real quick. If you take this out and compare it next to the ones that actually go on the um, inside the head. That's the, that's the difference in them. So these are the ones that go on the outside of the uh, valve cover right next to your exhaust manifold. So there's six of these, and then there's 20 of the shorter ones. So here they are. It, it comes with a little bit of assembly lube, um, but we're, we're gonna use, I don't know if we're gonna use this or not, but I got a whole tub of it, the ARP assembly lube right now. So we'll use that if we need to. And then I have the Glacier Diesel instructions on how to do it. These, these Torx uh, numbers are for the actual um, ARP 625s, but we're going to follow the torque sequence, or not torque sequence, but the uh, the torque numbers and the instructions here. So, we'll, uh, we're going to start to tear down now. Bodie's out there. Oh yeah, here's the final torque sequence for these. It says uh, 125 foot pounds. So we'll start 40 pounds, 80 pounds, and then go to 125 foot pounds. But Bodie's out here now, starting to take the valve cover off, and uh, we'll get that off the rockers. The rocker assemblies and then uh, start pulling studs one for one swap. Alright guys, we've gotten to the point now where we're taking off the injector harness. Just remove the two eight millimeter bolts off of each harness. Do it gently because if you break one of those studs off the injectors, you're going to have to replace an injector and that's not going to be nice. So just remove those and then the harness should pull right out. Remove those. I organize them with plates on the bench so I know exactly where everything goes. And I'll pull out the cams in the middle and just inspect those. And it should be easy. You can probably use the power tool now. Yeah, for sure. But. took us about an hour to get the whole top end of the motor taken apart. Um, we have the, the valve cover, the CCV itself, the injector harness, the uh, valve cover second part, the rocker. This is where you're going to shave out um, right there. This is the back. This goes towards cylinder six. We're going to have to shave that out with a Dremel. And then we got everything laid out here, all six rockers um, and bridges. So the thing I'm going to do is 
make sure these bridges stay with their associated, like this is your exhaust and this is your intake. I'll pull this screw out real quick here. And what I like to do is look at the cam that's in between the rocker. So I'm gonna look at those and just make sure there's no scoring or anything like that. I'll wipe it down and we'll start doing the one for one swap. All right guys, now it's time to break the studs or I guess the head bolts. So I got the, the direction of how to do it. As you see, the number one is right there. So that is one, two, three, four. Come over here and the way I count is one, two, three, four, which is kind of hard to see. It's that stud right there. Yeah, that one right there. Um, we'll break that one first and then we'll throw the new stud in and we're gonna torque her down to say, I think we discussed 90 pounds and then we're gonna come back around to 115 and then we're gonna do the final torque at 125. head studs to go in as I'm lubing the washer on both sides. So I'll show you, I'm just, here's some of the assembly lube. Just putting a coat on each side. Boom, boom. And then I'm taking the threads as well and I'm putting some assembly lube on there. Um, that should pretty much cover it. So take the nut, it goes on there and just screwing it down ever so slightly. And then he's putting them in the motor with the Allen head, just screwing them all the way down, backing them a half off, and then tightening this down and torquing it to 100 foot pounds. Alright guys, here we are. So far he's got about four he's got 14 of the 26 in. So as you guys see over here we have the longer ones for the exhaust side. There's six of them that come with the kit. There's one, two, three, four, five, six right here. So he's got two more that we need to do, and those are on the bench. But everything's going in fairly smooth. This is probably the quickest head head stud job I've done so far. I guess he's done. I'm just watching him do it, but <laughs> everything's looking good. Knock on wood. So we're gonna keep at it. And then uh, we'll do a hot retorque here uh, after he dries it for a little bit. All right, we're starting uh, the retorque sequence, not retorque. But we already torqued him down to 100. Now we're going to 125. And as you can tell, it's a, it's a process. All right, guys, we're back here. We're installing the rockers. If you look, we're putting the bridges on. You wanna make sure that dimple like points at the driver and then you're gonna put your rockers back on. You wanna make sure the rocker sits in those dimples of the push rods there, as Bodie's doing right now. And then you're gonna to torque down your screws to the uh, rocker arms to 27 foot-pounds. So 
got all the other ones done. I just wanted to show you this one because it's a lot closer and a lot easier to see. But uh, we're going to torque those down. We're going to adjust our valve lash. And then uh, we're going to go drive it around, uh, disassemble it, do a hot retorque, and uh, be done. All right, guys, we're doing the valve lash now. We're checking it. So what you're going to do is you're going to rotate your vibration dampener to TDC, top dead center. You're going to put that at 12 o'clock. Um, and this is the order you're going to do it. So your intake is, once it's at top dead center, the both the intake and exhaust rocker should be loose. And that's how you know you're at top dead center. And you're going to start. You're going to check the intake lash between the rocker and the bridge is going to be 0 0.010. So 10,000 and 0 0.020 on exhaust, so 20,000. And so intake, one, two, four, exhaust, one, three, and five. You're going to rotate the crank 360 degrees till you get the top dead center mark again. And then you're going to check the intake three, five, and six and exhaust two, four, and six. And if you need to adjust it, you're going to take that little 14 millimeter nut there. You're going to crack it open and you're going to turn the Allen head screw um, clockwise or counterclockwise to get the desired gap that you need. And then you're going to torque them down and those get torqued down to 18 foot pounds. All right, guys, we got the first uh, set done. Uh, the intake side, one, two, and four. And then we got the exhaust side, one, three, and five. Uh, Bodie's down there now. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see him. Yeah, keep going. You're good. And then uh, what we're trying to do now is find out the, uh, we're rotating 360, and then we're gonna check our intake side, three, five, and six, and then our exhaust side, two, four, and six. And then we're gonna put the top of the motor down, back together, and we're gonna go do a test drive. All right, so Bodie got all the, the valves in, all the lash adjusted. Uh, they look pretty good. Everything's within tolerance. 0 0.010 on the intake and 0 0.020 on the exhaust side of things. Just because I'm a nice guy, I'm going to let uh, Bodie use the, 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 my old one. It, uh, the, the seal's still pretty good, the, the gasket on the back, and then this is obviously right here where I, uh, I, sh I shaved it out so it cleared the uh, head stud. All right, we got the rocker cover on. He's putting the injector harness on now. And the screws that you guys, or the bolts that, I guess you could say the nuts that hold down to the injector, just be very, very gentle with them. I usually get them on hand tight with the ratchet and then I just snug them ever so slightly. So no particular order, just make sure the, they go where they're supposed to and then plug it back in with the blue connectors. And we'll put the valve cover on and that's it. All right guys, she's all back together. Uh, we're gonna start her up, you know, just check it out real quick and then go for a, a little five mile test drive, get her up to temp, come back, break her down and retorque the studs and put her back together for one last time. All right, guys, we're back from the test drive. Bodie's been over his truck over there taking everything back apart. What we're doing now is we're just gonna do a retorque. We got the truck up to operating temperature about a buck 83, 183 degrees, and everything turned out, it looks good. So we're just taking the whole, the whole top of the motor back apart, rockers, uh, everything's gonna come off. We're gonna put a torque wrench back on all of 26 of those studs, make sure they don't move. If they do, we'll just torque them back to 125 foot pounds and it should be done. So that's gonna be the end of this video. We're pretty much just wrapping it up now. I'm not gonna show you guys the whole, the, the retorque sequence, we already did it. So it's just simple just to knock it out real quick. So once again, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are awesome. Um, just a little recap, doing the exotic head studs. Um, they're they're not like the 625 equivalent. They're like the 425 or S2000 ARP equivalent. So very easy install. Probably took us a total of, I'd say about five hours, not start to finish. But uh, Bodie pretty much did all the work himself. I was just kind of like guiding him and since I've done it before. Um, and it went pretty painless. So once again, appreciate you guys watching. You guys are awesome. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing, and make sure you hit that notification bell. Until the next upload, we'll see you guys then. Have a good one.